smack dab in the middle of I-295 that encircles the city of Jacksonville in Northeast Florida. There's a good look at TIAA Bank Field. Today, after a crazy opening weekend, it's on to week two, and we've got a good one here between the Indianapolis Colts and the Jacksonville Jaguars. Two teams here fresh off week one victories who can keep it going as we're underway on EA Sports. Now Jamal Agnew from his end zone. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Here's the second-year man from Clemson, Travis Etienne. And he will lose yardage on the play, back in his own 19-yard line. A snap to Lawrence as he taps this forward. And they work this well upfield across the 45. A gain of 28 yards there and give him a first down. And just a simple tap pass, but it pays off in a big way. And sometimes the simple stuff causes the most problems for a defense because there's a breakdown in communication there. When that receiver goes behind the line of scrimmage and it looks like he's going in motion, someone either has to go with him or he has to be passed. Oh, and it's intercepted. He was trying to get it to Ridley. Picked off by Julian Blackman. And the Colts are going to take possession of the football. That, Charles, the first interception he's thrown here in year number two. And I know it's just the first one, but didn't it feel like what we saw from him last year where he was plagued by this type of a play? And they thought that, you know, over the offseason, going into a second season, some of that would go away. Thus far, still looks a lot like his rookie year. Now last year's leading rusher in the NFL, this is Jonathan Taylor. He'll get this down to the 38. Well, this defense for the Jaguars, terrific last week in the season opening victory. Yeah, what stood out to me on tape, the way they were flying to the football. So that tells me that they've got all their assignments down and they're playing with extreme confidence. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. And he is close to a first down as he's tackled at the Jaguars 33. It's a five-yard game, but they'll still be a yard short here with third down now looming. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. The Jags with five in the secondary now on third down. They'll try and run for the first with Taylor. And he'll go down at the 28. Back to Taylor on first down. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Indianapolis. Jonathan Taylor, his third rushing touchdown on the year. And the Colts use the early turnover to get on the board first here in this one. Extra point by McLaughlin is up and good. And it's now a 7-0 game. Sanchez now, he'll kick it away following the touchdown. And that would bounce 
Pass is out of the back of the end zone, so we'll start the drive at the 25 on the touchback. The Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive. Now remember the last time out, they threw the interception. That led to the touchdown, so now time to regroup. It certainly is, and their goal right now as they go back out on the field, a calming drive, something that takes the ball, keeps it for a while, lets the defense relax a little bit, lets the offense regain confidence in their game plan. First down yardage on the first play of the drive, give him 14. I really like what Jacksonville did in free agency, and what a smart gamble, in my opinion, bringing in Evan Ingram on a one-year deal. Best case scenario, he gets back to being the Pro Bowl player he was in 2020 and gives Trevor Lawrence a big-time weapon in the middle of the field. That duo links up there and picks up a first down. Man, he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. A good gain on first, has him set up with second and just a couple of inches now from the 29. They'll roll him out right. Open man right side is Ingram. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. The Jaguars at 1-0 on the year following the win in week one. And they were able to get that road victory in the opener. Now they look to get to 2-0 in front of the home crowd. And look, any road win in the NFL, that's huge. But when you do it week one, that gets you pointed in the right direction and sends notice to the rest of the league that you mean business. Now from Colts territory, here's a first and 10 at the 48-yard line. They'll try the left side with ETN. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and 10. Absolutely love the effort there. The ability to flow from his inside spot and stop that one at the line of scrimmage. Nice linebacker play. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. They go play action with Lawrence. Sliding out of the pocket. Pass complete to Jalen Tolbert. And they'll get him to the ground. And he has another first down at the Colts 29-yard line. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. And that's how you shake off the interception he threw on the opening drive. Come back and throw another strike and gain nice yardage. And I give credit to two people on this one. The man throwing the ball and the person calling the plays. They're not shutting him down early in this game. A quick throw knocked away. It's incomplete. So it looks like they still have some fight in them on this series because it seemed like things were headed for the red zone. But this defense gets two more stops. They can keep them out of that area. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Lawrence. be incomplete try to dial up the long one way out there but it'll be third down well they've got man coverage on the outside and my scouting report on these dbs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands they want man coverage not zone and there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Now Lawrence. And they'll get him to the ground. He has another first down at the Colts 14. It's a gain of 14 down to the 14. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. Come on, 
Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Lawrence going to throw again. And he'll throw this one away. I don't think he's out of the pocket. No, here comes the flag. Uh, we saw it too. Nobody in the vicinity of that throw, and that earns him the penalty. Yeah, you've got to at least get it close enough to one of your own guys in order to dodge the penalty. They lose the yardage, and of course, they also lose the down on the grounding call, and it's quickly second and long. Running out of the gun with ETN. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. Boy, a tough spot here as they approach the line of scrimmage. A long way to go to try to pick up this first down. On third and long. Flushed out right. Completes it to Evan Ingram. They'll get 19 out of this, but it will still bring up a fourth down. I don't know how many times, not just in my playing career, but you and I working together, have we ever heard a coach say, you know, I just don't have that play on my call sheet. And that's really what we had here. That was a big hole they were trying to get out of. Yeah, big gain still a ways to go, though. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. Now, early on, you know, Charles, every game could be called a measuring stick game. But I think when it comes within your division like this, it's a measuring stick game with a little extra intrigue. I would agree with that totally because all division games have a little extra to them. But I like where this game is situated because at this stage of the season, it has that little extra juice. But at the same time, it's not a make or break if this were, let's say, week 15, 16, somewhere in that neighborhood. First and 10, Taylor now. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight. Second and two. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. Off the play fake. Here's Ryan. He'll buy some time right. He's going to let it go deep for the end zone. Now he's got his target. It's caught for a Colts touchdown. Paris Campbell, his first touchdown here of the new campaign as his guys are able to extend their lead. Extra point by McLaughlin is up and good. And that pushes the lead up to 11. Sanchez now, he'll kick it away following the touchdown. And that'll be a little too hot to handle as it will skip through the end zone for a touchback here. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points and, is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. A false start backs him up five, first and 15. 
A shotgun snap and a give to ETN. And some room to work. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. A snap to Lawrence as he taps this forward. Oh, and that one well designed as he'll take this down to the 30-yard line. 18 more yards there and another first down. What an effective play there, getting their wideouts involved in the run game. And what they're always hoping on that type of a play, that they can get to the end of the line and have a chance to turn it upfield as he did there. That means they controlled the blocking and took care of the defensive end or the outside linebacker to give him that lane. And, I, and oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked off by Bobby O'Karake. And the Colts are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. CD, I know it's just his second year in the league as a quarterback, but that's going to be one when he flips on the tape. He's like, ah, I shouldn't have thrown that ball. No doubt about it, and his coaching staff will be emphatic about he shouldn't have thrown that ball. But remember, second year, as you noted, on the job training. So he's got to take this feedback that he's getting, negative or otherwise, and turn it into positives moving forward. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. We've got a 14-3 ball game with two minutes left in the opening half. A reminder, coming up at halftime, we'll head to Orlando. Standing by there, Jonathan Coachman. He'll have stats and scores from around the NFL in this second week of the regular season. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. They'll send a receiver in motion to the right. They go play action now. Ryan. This one completes Alec Pierce. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and get the quarterback a really nice target. 68 yards rushing for him now to this point. They've created a nice sustained drive off of plays like that. A nice strong run there that keeps him advancing the ball. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. They go to the ground again with Taylor. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. Brandon, we talk all the time about those hybrid players, guys who can do more than one thing. And I think if you're playing strong safety in the NFL today, you are a true hybrid. Part linebacker part cover guy and coming up sticking his nose in the mess there and making a nice play defensively a good chance this is four down territory if they're unable to convert but right now looking at a third and three they'll bring a receiver in motion right they go play action with Ryan rolling to his right he finds Pierce, it's complete. Down inside the 10, and he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Indianapolis. Alec Pierce with his first career NFL touchdown. And the Colts would extend their lead here just before halftime. Extra point by McLaughlin is up and good. And the lead is up to 18 now. Rigoberto Sanchez is the kickoff for Indianapolis. So 
So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And they will not get a chance to return this one. It's through the back of the end zone for a touchback. Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. That one nearly 30 yards, 29 officially. Now that's the kind of big play you'd like to see. This first half, it hasn't gone their way, and they could use a shot in the arm, something to perk them up a bit. And they get one here in the passing game. Check 15, check 15. <laughs> on play action, Lawrence. They'll roll him out right. Open man downfield is Ridley. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. Well, these guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half. But I like their countenance. I like the way that they haven't panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. They're starting to move the ball, and what you have to do, maintain your poise and start to put together some drives. And now we'll get a late timeout as it comes in the waning moments of quarter number two. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. Here we go. Final play of the half, it's Lawrence. Oh, that's the third interception for Lawrence. And he will be brought down on what will be the final play of this first half. So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided game so far. As we send you a couple hours south of here to Orlando, that's where we check in with a coach at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Second half, ready to get underway. The Colts with a lead, and they will receive the football. And no run back here as the third quarter will commence with a touchback. The Colts come to the line, ready to start their next drive. Right now, everything they touch turns to gold. This is their fourth possession. Touchdowns on their first three possessions. I mean, this defense, they can't seem to stop them. It's like they're on skates. Great analogy, Brandon, because they are pushing them back and winning everything at the line of scrimmage. They've just been laying down tracks towards the opposite end zone. So to themselves, all they're saying is, if we don't make a mistake, there's no way they can stop us. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Play action, Ryan. He's got his man, it's Pierce. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. Two catches in the first half. Now he's got a third here, and it's good for a first. Mark 
running straight ahead, Taylor. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that feeling like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. Second down, another run with Taylor. Room here to run. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. And even 100 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. Now this offense really looking polished these first couple of weeks. Here's first and ten. Now Ryan. To the right side, complete to Taylor. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. They'll send a receiver here in motion right. From the 31, Ryan. And he'll throw this one away. But I don't think he was out of the pocket. No, here comes the flag. Yeah, he hadn't gotten far enough away from the pocket to throw that football away, and that draws the flag. Yeah, the old tackle box, right? Get outside of each tackle, and then you can go ahead and throw it away, and you're in good shape. But if you're back there in the pocket, you got to make sure of what you're doing. So now it's third and long, because remember, they also lose a down on the grounding call. From the shotgun, Ryan. And that's going to be incomplete. The contact there enough to jar that ball free. And it brings up fourth down. I like what they tried to do there. Tried to hit him with something quick, get the ball in his hands, and hope he could make some yards after the catch and pick up a first down. Weren't able to do so on that play. So look at this. Here's the field goal unit coming out. And he is going to need to bomb this one. This was the old NFL record distance for decades. A 63-yard attempt. And that will wind up just short. He had it on line. It ran out of gas at the end. And this will remain an 18-point lead. Well, he's got a big leg. And when everything comes together, he can certainly hit from long range. But this one's going to come up just a little bit short. A very good effort, though. ETN up the middle. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. <laughs> On second down, ETN once more. And he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. Three yards on the pickup. That's going to set up an interesting third and about four to go. They did a really nice job there defensively. They strung the play out. Didn't give him a cutback lane. On each play, you have guys what I call our BCR players. Guys are responsible for the bootleg, for the cutback, and for the reverse. They played that one perfectly. And rode him right out of bounds. Check their seven, check their seven. Yeah, yeah. Looking to throw, Lawrence. Throw left side, complete to Ingram. And he will have a Jaguars first down by about a yard. It's a gain of five on third and four. Play action, it's Lawrence. Sliding out of the pocket. Right side, it's Manhurts, the tight end. And he gets this down inside the 35 before going out of bounds. 
He was out there waving his arms. And when you got a quarterback out of the pocket looking for any help, I guess waving the arms is helpful. It certainly is because you got to get his attention because now you're in scramble drill. So everyone's adjusting their routes, finding open space, and he found the right spot for the completion. Throwing again on second down, Lawrence. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Another attempt, another incompletion, and when I look at the scoreboard and where we are in this game, it comes to mind that they have to start getting the ball in the hands of their playmakers. Throw it to the guys that maybe can take a short pass and turn it into a long gain or make people miss downfield. They've got to have points, and the guys who can put the ball in the end zone, they're the ones that need to touch the ball. Again, it's Lawrence being chased out left. And that is caught. Touchdown, Jacksonville. Calvin Ridley, his second touchdown on the season. And the Jags are able to cut into that deficit. Extra point by Patterson, up and good. And it makes the score 21 to 10. After the touchdown, Cook now to kick this one away. The drive will start at the 25-yard line here as Rodgers will not return it. come to the line ready to start their next drive their lead down to two scores after the touchdown a moment ago as they start with a first and ten a carry by taylor to start the drive oh, there he goes left side 30 10 5 touchdown indianapolis jonathan taylor with his second touchdown of the game fourth of the year and the Colts are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Well, I don't think you can get any more efficient or tidy, whatever word you want to use in that, man. One play, 75 yards, end zone. Yeah, efficient, tidy, excellent words. How about explosive? 75 yards, one play. That means everyone handled their assignment, doesn't it? It doesn't just mean that the defense broke down. They really executed the way. Extra point by McLaughlin is up and good. And the lead is up to 18 now. Sanchez now, he'll kick it away following the touchdown. This one taken just inside the 10. And not a good return here at all as they'll be forced to start at the 12-yard line. In this position, trying to get back into the game, teams are looking for a spark from their special teams. That's not what they got, though. They got a setback, and they have a long field to cover if they want to try and put points on the board. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. Off the play fake, here's Lawrence. On the move to his left. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked up by Kenny Moore. And the Colts are going to take possession of the football. Boy, so another interception, CD. And it feels like he's starting to unravel a little bit. And as you would expect, still a work in progress here in his second season. He has to start ironing out some of these mistakes, though, because now his head coach Playing him and let him work through it, or you start thinking about going to his backup. Escaping the pressure right. And his throw is going to be incomplete. 
I think we can all understand what they're thinking right now. They take over the ball in field goal range after the turnover, so they've got that in their hip pocket. But they've got to go for the end zone and turn this into a bigger point. Their thinking is a touchdown is really what they should get from starting here. Getting three points at the end of this drive, that would feel disappointing. And for one of the few times here today, this one's not going to go anywhere. No gain on that one as it brings up a third and ten. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to